What's up home slice Lucas here. So it has been four months since I've done air flare since I've done an air flare four months mid February was the last time I actually trained air flares and then you know you know what happened everything closed down and I was like hey we'll just take a break from this this is the longest I've ever been without practicing air flares the longest I've ever been the longest before this was two weeks when I took it off for a wrist injury I had that I got from doing air flares but today I'm gonna see what it takes to get these things back and the gyms are still closed so I'm going outside I know where there's a decent a decent level ground I'm going outside and we're gonna attempt to get air flares back we're gonna see what it takes after four months without doing any air flares I'm nervous but you gotta focus all right let's go Oh man, it's a hot one. So I came to the most level place that I knew of, the AstroTurf. All right, not 100% ideal, but you know, better than grass, all right? At least this is like level, you know what I'm saying? Ah, it's hot, but that's why I brought this, this water jug to pour on my hands, to cool my hands off. See, you gotta think, you know what I mean? Starting a timer, see how long it takes me to get my first one, maybe first couple, <laughs> if, I even, if it even happens. It's gotta warm up though. What did I used to do? I think I used to top rock or something like that. Or shuffle. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm feeling good. Oh. Balance is poor. Not as good as it used to be. I think my strength is still really good, though. Feeling strong. One month plan, baby. Body weight base 2.0. All right. Oh man. <laughs> oh. 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 Man, it's going to be hard. Got to make sure I'm warmed up in the, in the right spots. Like I feel like I still have all my strength. Um it's literally just that air flare muscle memory. That plus like, you know, that specific mobility you only get from training air flares. Which is like right here, opening that up and tossing that over. Just doing a warm up here. Oh. It's hot, man. The ground's hot. Alright, just send one. Just send one home. Oh, all right. <sighs> that actually didn't feel that bad. What just happened is that didn't feel that bad. My shoulders felt fine. My right foot hit the ground first, which is a common problem a lot of people will have when they first learn this move. That's because when you're turning upside down, you wanna actually have both legs continuing to go up as you jump or have it just one of them just still. What I did and what a common problem is, is you, you rotate your legs like this because that's what you think is right. You think it's right to rotate your legs like this, but you kind of want them both to come up, then you jump, then you rotate. Catch, then rotate. Do it. Get in the wobble. Oh. 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 All right, I felt a good lift on that, but uh, man. What up them hands, what up them hands, man. Yo, it's like riding a bike, I swear. Ah, a ah, little tight, man, little tight, little tight up in like this region. I'm also battle battling a shoulder injury, um, right shoulder chronic injury. But then again, when I was doing air flares, I had it, so probably it was from probably doing all this breakdance stuff, you know? Shoot, all that impact on that right arm. Let's see if I can swing one and a half, or almost get two. So the secret when you're, uh, re when you're learning air flares maybe for the first time or relearning them like I'm doing it. Try to throw that second one no matter what. All right, no matter what. Oh. That felt amazing. Oh, it felt so good. Yeah. <laughs> that felt good, baby. Yo, I feel, I, still, I feel like I have even more power in my shoulders right now. I don't wanna just, you know, 
advertise, but gotta give credit when credit's due. Bodyweight Beast 2.0 and the one month plan, baby. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's true, it's, I'm sorry. All right, let's see if we can get more, man. Just keep building from here. All right, keep building. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, I did it, I got three. <laughs> Four months off, first day back. Oh man, couldn't even wait for the gym. Had to go outside. Ah. Ah. Got a secret weapon. The pink shirt. I got another secret weapon too. I got shorts under these pants. You know how we like to take clothes off as we start getting more warmed up? When you take more clothes off, the lighter you get and the better you do. So you get better as you're doing better. All right, so I got my first three. Oh, oh no, it says it's too hot. Okay, well the timer said 10 minutes and 22 seconds, but I can't even use my phone right now because, uh, geez, because uh, I don't know if you guys can see this. Well, it says it's too hot, just take my word for it. Probably shouldn't do this, but uh, it's supposed to be water resistant. Put that under the bag. Gotta do the power bottom. Oh man, I have streaks of sun. There's like one streak, two streak, three streaks. All right, let's pull out the secret weapon. Uh, yeah, man, it's probably gonna land on my back. Gotta, gotta cool down. Okay, Mr. Overdramatic. All right, here we go. That was slipping. Ah. Uh. Hey, maybe I need shoes. Without shoes, it just doesn't feel right. So, oh, oh. All right, phone's working again. All right, it's only been 16 minutes, okay? Come on, I gotta step up my game. So it's been about 30 minutes, a little over 30 minutes now, but that's, that, that doesn't matter. So um, basically it went, it went like this. My progress went from like absolutely not remembering how to do it to very, very quickly getting it back. Like it just felt like all of a sudden it clicked after doing the warm up and doing a couple of, uh, you know, runs through just like the setup. Then I got to like, you know, three, I got to three fairly quickly and then I managed to push out like four and a half push out that sounds weird you know like almost do almost do five but then the thing was is um so it wasn't like i was able to do five six seven or even just do five 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 it was just like five and then all of a sudden like three again then two then i had to fight for three it's like my endurance was kind of gone all of that like muscle memory to do the air flares was still there i just had to dig it up but i think that muscle like endurance memory if that's even a thing or stamina like it just wasn't there four months and i was able to do four under 30 minutes i think that's pretty good the only thing now is like having that consistency down like i used to have and i think that's where honestly training them constantly comes into play but i'm happy with that man 
I'm, I'm happy with that. Thank you so much for watching this. The road to getting these air flares back, hey, was a short road, but um, you know what? The long road is just gonna be that consistency, like I said. Remember, stay strong, keep practicing. Hopefully some of these tips in this video helped you all out. Some of those tips about like achieving air flares for the first time if you're looking to get air flares. Most important thing I can tell you is consistency, 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 and to also always be thinking ahead. Always be thinking, uh, you already have the air flares or the move you're trying to achieve. Think you already have it. Know you already have it. And just use the practice to close that gap. But just imagine you have just way more than you already have for, know you have it. Does that make sense? Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. More videos coming out. Stay tuned. Peace. You all have a good one. I'll see you all in the next video.